This video reviews the concepts of the theory of plate tectonics. According to the theory of plate tectonics, the Earth's lithosphere is broken up into pieces called plates. The theory of plate tectonics states that Earth's plates are in slow, constant motion, driven by convection currents in Earth's mantle. Remember from layers of the Earth that a convection current is the movement of a fluid caused by differences in temperature. In the Earth, heat from the core and the mantle cause convection currents to occur in the mantle. This image shows the different plates. The movement of Earth's plates is very slow. They only move 1 to 12 centimeters per year. The movement of the plates has caused the location of the continents and the size of the oceans to greatly change through Earth's history. The image at the bottom shows how the oceans and continents have changed over the years. The movement of Earth's plates can create earthquakes, volcanoes, mountain ranges, and deep ocean trenches. The top left image is the Himalayan mountains. The bottom left image is Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii. The image on the right demonstrates how deep Mariana Trench is. One piece of evidence that helps to prove that the continents are moving is that the continents fit together like a puzzle. This puzzle of all the continents joined together is called Pangaea. A second evidence that helps prove that the continents are moving is that the land features on different continents line up. For example, mountain ranges in Africa and South America line up with each other. Also, the coal beds on the east coast of the United States and Europe line up. This image demonstrates where the mountain ranges line up in South America and Africa and where the coal beds line up in North America and Europe. A third piece of evidence that helps prove the continents are moving is fossils. For example, this map shows that the Mesosaurus fossils have been found in both Africa and South America. The Lystrosaurus fossils have been found where Africa and India line up. The Glossopterus fossils have been found where South America, Africa, India, Australia, and Antarctica lined up. This image shows how the continents lined up and where the fossils were found. The blue line represents Mesosaurus fossils. The brown line represents Lystrosaurus fossils. The green line represents Glossopterus fossils. And the orange line represents Sanonithus fossils, which were found in South America and Africa. A fourth piece of evidence that helps prove that the continents are moving is climate. Because the continents were closer or further from the equator than they are today, the continents may have experienced very different climates. For example, fossils of tropical plants have been found on an island in the Arctic Ocean. Also, there has been glacial evidence found in Africa. This image shows in white where glacial deposits are found. The map in the little square labeled Pangaea shows where the continents were during Pangaea. If you look at the larger map of where the continents are today, look at how close the glacial deposits are to the equator. Clearly, if Africa was always located on the equator, glacial deposits would not be found there. Since the continents are moving because of convection currents, seafloor spreading occurs. Seafloor spreading adds more crust to the ocean floor. New magma rises and hardens on the ocean floor. At the same time, older ships of rock move outward from either side of the ridge. This animation demonstrates seafloor spreading. The new magma rises to create new ocean floor as the plates move. Scientists found that seafloor spreading occurs at mid-ocean ridges. Mid-ocean ridges form long trains of mountains that rise up from the ocean floor. The mid-ocean ridge mountain ranges are the longest mountain ranges on Earth. Mid-ocean ridges appear where the new ocean floor forms. This image shows the mid-Atlantic ridge, which is a mid-ocean ridge. 
Since new floor is being created, something has to happen to the old ocean floor. This process of the ocean floor sinking back down into the mantle is called subduction. Old ocean floor sinks under the mantle at deep ocean trenches, which are like underwater canyons. Subduction occurs because of density. The old crust is more dense than the new crust, so it sinks under into the mantle. This anim animation demonstrates how old ocean crust is being pulled back under into the mantle at a subduction zone. Subduction and seafloor spreading change the size and shape of the oceans and move the continents. These two processes cause continental drift. The process is very slow. It takes about 200 million years to renew the ocean floor. The red circle in the left of this image shows seafloor spreading. The blue circle on the right of the image shows subduction. Scientists have found evidence of seafloor spreading. The first evidence is from ocean material. Pelo lava found on the ocean floor only forms when molten material hardened quickly after erupting. This type of lava is found near mid-ocean ridges. The red circle in the image is showing pillow lava. A second piece of evidence is from magnetic stripes. When magma is released, it contains magnetic material that line up with Earth's poles. Magnetic stripes on each side of the mid-ocean ridge are mirror images. This shows the ridges separate at the same time and rate. This image shows magnetic strips near the mid-ocean ridge. If you look at the positives and the negatives, the pattern is the same on each side. They are mirror images. A final piece of evidence of seafloor spreading is from drilling samples. Scientists have found that rock samples further from a mid-ocean ridge are older than ones found closer to a mid-ocean ridge. This proves the new ocean floor is rising to the crust at a mid-ocean ridge and pushing the old ocean crust further away. This image shows the further away from the center, which is yellow, you are, the older the seafloor is. The center in this image is located on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge.